So I had an interesting question today about extracting the uh, unit vectors for a coordinate system and uh, how to the best way to get to those. Uh, I had somebody who was trying to do that with the measure command and I, I, we don't have a, a direct way to extract those through the measure command. But here's, here's a thought. So if, if the end destination is to, to get those unit vectors out of a coordinate system, there are kind of two ways I'm thinking of that, that we could do it. One of them involves using the work coordinate system, the WCS, and the other one involves using uh, datum CSIS, uh, which, which is kind of a combination of a, a coordinate system plus some datums. But, uh, but here's, here's my thought. So relative to the WCS, uh, it's in here actually in the tools menu, there is a section about the WCS, right? And the WCS, of course, is that transient um, little coordinate system that, that, that's out there that we can use and manipulate and move around and, and do stuff with, of course. And that XY plane is handy for certain operations. But at any rate, I'm going to undo that. We'll stick it back where it was. Oops. We'll stick it back where it was. There we go. No worries. And um, there, there's a useful one in here that's WCS origin. This part is one that I made years ago just with all kinds of funky angles on it, right, to do some things. So for instance, if we wanted to put a coordinate system that's kind of down in this corner right here and maybe has uh, this edge is the x-axis and then we want it to be normal to this, uh, this uh, green face right here, um, we might do something like this. Um, so we can come in and, uh, sorry, that's the point. Uh, let's come in and do our WCS Orient. That's the one I want. And what this does is gives us a whole stack of options for defining a coordinate system in, in a bunch of different ways, right? So for this one here, for instance, we might say I want to start with maybe an x-axis and a y-axis and an origin point, for instance. So down here, I might say the origin point here is going to be that vertex where I want to be. The x-axis will be this one here. Um, let me make sure I get the right edge. There we go. And then the y-axis, of course, is going to be 90 degrees from the x, but in the direction that we select here. So we'll select that guy. So you see the y is not completely lined up with that because it's not a right angle. But, um, but with that x-axis, that origin point, y defining the plane of xy, then we get that z normal there that's, that's normal to that green plane. Um, so, so we've got that, that there, right? And then the question is, what do we do with it, right? So, so we've got the CSIS at that location. Um, we still can't query it quite directly, I don't think. But what we can do there is save a, a coordinate system there. And what this will do is save a little dude uh, right there at, at that location. Um, one trick with the WCS, um, you don't see it here, I guess, but in this, in this menu, if you come in this direction, um, there's a little display. The accelerator for the display for the WCS is W. And so W actually toggles on and off. As I hit the W key, it toggles on and off that WCS out there on the screen. But uh, with that off, it leaves that little coordinate system object. And this is an older object in, in uh, NX. This is actually a non-associative coordinate system that's out there. Uh, but we can, but it's an object, so we can select it and we can do things like go ask for information object or control I right here and say, uh, go select that coordinate system. And as we do that, then we're going to get in the listing window uh, a nice uh, listing here of uh, the, the origin, of course, and then the, the directions for these axes. Um, the first row in here is going to be the ab relative to absolute. The second one is going to be relative to the WCS. So here again, we establish the WCS down here um, with X along that X axis and, and Z along that Z axis, this one here. Uh, and then Y, oops, <laughs> and then Y is, is somewhere funky uh, out there in the middle. Um, well, I guess the WCS is still WCS, right? Um, but anyway, the, the first rows here, this, this row and this row and this row are the, uh, are the, uh, um, the, the unit vectors here for the uh, X, Y, and Z axes of that, uh, of that particular one, right? So that's one way to get them. Uh, and, and there again, you see you've got, you've got kind of full precision on all of those. Uh, they're available. Um, all in one place there, handy to use. Um, very similarly, the, the one downside with this is that if you do something like this, make a parametric change to this part, um, this one does not, is not associative, right? This doesn't come along for the ride, so it's, it's floating free at that point once we've made a parametric change. But um, let me undo a couple, and we can do a similar thing with a datum CSIS that's associative, right? 
So if we come into either curve or surface, we've got the CSIS dropdown or the datum dropdown rather. The datum CSIS is over here. And this guy, of course, is going to be one of those. It's going to have one of those coordinate systems on it and then actually some datums in addition to that. Um, we've got similar options here for defining that, right? So if we're just going for the vectors, um, yeah, again, there's there's lots of ways to define this one, but um, we can go do it. We'll do go do the same one, right? We'll do that x x y and and the origin. So origin then x then y. Uh, again, we'll grab the origin down there. Pick this edge here for x. Here we go, and this edge here for y. So that defines that. We can choose to make that associative or not associative. If we want to make it associative, of course, it'll follow along as we do parametric edits here. Um, so we can go say OK. And again, that's going to create that datum CSIS uh, object now at that location. That, that When it's associative, of course, it's a feature it's sitting in here. So we can uh, we can update it. Actually, if we edit this, do the same edit now, for instance, and edit that face. There we go. And uh, change that. This one now will come along for the ride because it is tracking associatively the, the edges and, and vertices of that body that we were looking at. And there we go. And, and then similarly with that one, we can do that information object, control I or, uh, or, or uh, yeah, menu information object and go down there. Here, when we select this, we'll want to make sure we get the coordinate system specifically. So it looks like the datum coordinate system, the total thing came up first. Uh, I'm curious if this actually gives it to us. Let's see what we get if we do that. If we do that, we get, uh, yeah, actually we do. We get them there too. So so yeah, we can either pick the datum coordinate system or um, the where I was headed was to similarly come in here and from the stack now, another another trick with, with the quick pick here, you don't actually have to move the mouse up there. You can just roll the, roll the, the wheel right where you are, leave the cursor there. But uh, it looks like you can do this with the top one, the datum coordinate system, kind of the parent object, or with the, the coordinate system specifically from inside. And uh, with both of those methods, you'll, you'll get that, uh, that set of, of vectors uh, that'll come out. Again, full precision uh, out there. And, and here again, these will be in terms of um, the, uh, the absolute and the, uh, the, the local coordinate system, so the WCS. So I hope that is useful to you.